freedom uh, begins and ends with personal accountability. This one hits home for me the most. Uh, I drive the players at, and I talk to people every day and, and in my own accountability part, whenever I'm free is when I'm accountable for what I do and how I do it. And the true accountability comes from, we're always trying to please someone. We're always trying to please the coach. We're always trying to please the teacher. We're always trying to please our significant other. We're always trying to please our parents. We're trying to please my kids. And in that, sometimes I find that, that I'm not truly free. There's the accountability part. I can't ever make, I can't make everyone happy all the time. And what I need to really get back to in myself as a person is I need to be able to, to be happy with who I am. I need to look at myself and hold myself accountable. And I try to get that along to my players. When my players take care of what they're capable of, when they're accountable for for going to school, when they're accountable for being good people off the field, when they're accountable for mastering their skills at catching a ground ball, bunting a ball, hit and run, uh, their flushing system, how they speak around people, the role models, when they're accountable for all those things, then they start to help everyone else out. When they go to practice to try to make me happy, you know, I hope coach is happy with me, I hope coach is happy. I, I, I want my mom and dad to be proud of me as a player and, and when they go 0 for 3 do they go home and ask themselves well I'm a failure and no one's happy and I think that's where the, the team chemistry starts to break down and that's where the person starts to break down is, is in this constant pursuit to make someone else happy and I think I look at it from a, a coaching standpoint if, if I go to work every day and I work as hard as I could possibly work and and I make money and I, and I can take care of my family and, and I have good morals and, and they're proud of who we are as people and everything works pretty good. But if I go to work and all I do is make money and I come home and say, well, the money's gonna take care of it. It's kind of like an athlete. If an athlete just takes his ability level and he says, well, my ability's good enough and if I have great ability, everyone else around me is happy. And, and I think there's, that's where the team starts to break down. Teams aren't made and, and lost by making each other happy. They're, they're made by the accountability that we hold ourselves to. And, and when we're happy about who we are and what we give, everyone else around us probably prospers from that. And I, and I say it like this in the end, the only way you can help others is you have to help yourself first. As soon as you have yourself helped, then you can start to reach out to others. And, and that's how we work the team. We always talk about the team being first, but in, in all reality, the person is first. As soon as the person is taken care of and in line, then you start to help the team. And that's where we, we, we try not to break down as a team. We try not to help somebody else before we've helped ourselves get better in all aspects.